All right, today we're gonna show you guys how to break in your JC Dirty Webs. Scotch right? The drill. What axle is it? The T5M. T5M axle with any wheel nut. So, well, in this specific case, yes, JC wheel. Nut. So first thing you're gonna do is take the Scotch right. Just put it in your hand. I put my finger right on the corner, and then you just get the drill going at a comfortable like. About like that, kind of maybe a little bit faster, uh, just so the tire's not ballooning, basically. And you're gonna scrub the tire. You're gonna scrub the sidewalls on both front and back, and you're gonna get it so the sh the glossy shine will be away. It'll be just like a nice scuff, basically from like taking a wing from new to scuffed. And uh, yeah, so here we go. You want to check it frequently. It's starting to go away. All right, so that's a little bit better. You can see close up. You can probably see that the sidewall is dull, like there's no reflection. And then right on top there, there's a reflection. So that's what you're looking for all the way around on the tire. So now, after you get the sidewalls, you want to do the tread. Oh my god. I'd say that's probably right about there, almost. It's not nearly as glossy. Cody Mac. And you're not damaging the tread at all and you're just putting a slight bit of pressure on the tire and also you want one tire to be scrubbed in like that and one tire to be scrubbed in going the other way and then you will direction those on each side of the car. All right, that's probably right about good. So after you scuff it in, you'll take a rag. You'll take your tire sauce, which in our instance is uh, Smaction. Smaction, which is, am I allowed to say it? Or is it Nate, a secret? Nate, jo Nate Jaskot came up, up with it. What is it, liquid wrench? A slight bit of liquid wrench and uh, Reno's. So you'll just put it on the towel and you'll just right, run it around on there. Alright, I'll ask the master, is that good? Or more. Just keep doing it until it gets warm and it starts pulling the towel. At this point, the tire probably feels sticky. Yeah, I would say it's pretty good. It's a little damp, but probably in like two seconds or like 30 seconds or so, it'll be nice and grippy. Uh, I personally put them in a bag. Would you say to put them in a bag? So put them in a bag for a minimum of two hours to a maximum of about overnight, so about eight or ten hours. And then you're ready to hit the track.